grammarhatpodcast at gmail.com. Incognito mode is for cowards. They're in the tournament, even though they are well known as evil people. Like, they come in and they're like, aren't they a dark guild? And everyone's like, what's a dark guild doing in this? And they're like, we got the, we got the clearance to be a not dark guild because we took down a bunch of dark guilds the other week so that we could enter this competition. Not sus at all. Welcome to From a Hat, the show where we draw a topic out of a hat, just like it says in the title. I'm Ben. I'm Phoenix. And I'm Dom. We're recording this like a week out of from Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Christmas is coming up. What do you guys want? I, I'm not getting you shit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. This is not the point. It's the same oh, thing. it's just in general. Yeah, just in general. A will to live. A will to live? And Phoenix? Ben's soul. Okay. Yeah, he... <laughs> ah! Long-time listeners might know that I don't have a soul because yeah. I lost it in a game of Temp and Bowling to Phoenix. Hello. Right. I thought you already had it. That's what I was going to say. He then lost it in a game of mini golf... <laughs> To f- to a friend, a friend right. who doesn't exist because she's not been on the show. Ugh. However, I then asked her like a week ago for my soul back and was given my soul back. Hey, it all worked out in the end. And he's Except unhappy. For Phoenix. Who's back having no soul? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I can scram something together. Sweet. It'll be a cheap imitation of Ben's soul. That's fine. He doesn't want it as long as I can damn him. He wants to dare me to the pit. What anyway. If, what if I got you, like, a... Um, while you're drawing out of the hat, Phoenix, what if I got you, like, a, uh, a, a Ben Voodoo doll? Hmm. Would that be similar? That would be pretty good. I'd like that, actually. That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Also, could you yeah. stop breaking my One Piece hat? Sorry. Like, you're bending it and all that. I'm like, Sorry. dude, it's expensive. It's so today's topic... Yeah. ...is Powerpuff Girls. <gasps> Okay, now you don't even have to, like, clip in the Anyway, the I don't think we should use that as our theme. <laughs> Neither do I. I think that we should use the ending theme song. Which is... on repeat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This episode will be two hours long, and the first hour and 20 minutes is going to be that. Yeah. Just looping. I mean, I guess. <laughs> get okay. Keen, get keen, listeners. <laughs> Powerpuff Girls are my first exposure to superheroes as a concept. Really? Okay. Because I, well, them and Spider-Man. And I only knew about Spider-Man because every year for Christmas, my dad got me a skateboard. He mm. never taught me how to ride a skateboard. Yeah. But Does he know how to ride a skateboard? He did. No. Oh, well then. But he just bought me a skateboard and assumed I'd figure it out. And one year he got me a Spider-Man one. I'm like, what the hell, what's this? And he's like, that's Spider-Man. I go, who's Spider-Man? And he goes... He's a superhero. I'm like, what's a superhero? <laughs> and then How he old had, were you? I don't know, like four? Okay. Four or five, maybe? Skateboard at four. Neat. <laughs> Can you still kickflip? I can't ride a skateboard! <laughs> you weren't trying hard enough. You yeah, had a that's... skateboard at four years old. You should be yeah. a pro by Listen, now. Listen, hey, everyone is goes at their own pace, you know? He's been practicing for years. I'm sure one of these days. But yeah, he'll be a, a Tony Hawk pro skater. This is why I drink. Five. <laughs> Yeah, Tony five. Hawk's first get a five. Yeah, the, the one, bad one. one. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, I that's funny you say that because this is going to sound weird, but I think Powerpuff Girls was my first exposure to superhero origin stories. If you know, like, oh yeah, because because yeah, because it's kind of a generic uh, origin story, but at the same time, it isn't. Mm. So, so w- what's weird is that. Uh, professor, the professor. Does he have a last name? Just the professor. Just professor Udonium. Professor Udonium, that's right. Oh, that's right. Isn't it? I always thought he was just Samurai Jack. Yeah, he does look and is animated it's the a lot same like character samurai, design as Samurai, samurai Jack. Jack. He's not a samurai, though. That's true. He, he's Samurai Jack aged. It's, uh, it's, it's Samurai Jack Echo Fighter, Doc Jack. Yeah. <laughs> 
Talk, Jack. Um, <laughs> Gotta get back to the past. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack! Um, but, yeah, so he wants to create the perfect little girls. Yeah. But... Don't... Don't think too hard about that. Yeah. But he's like, doing that in his basement. Yeah, he's making perfect little girls. I, you know, I trust the professor. I but, get it. But, but, I, what like, the fuck hey, is wrong with you? But, <laughs> right, like, <laughs> okay, picture it like this, right? Yeah. He's like, uh, like, let's say 30 years old. Okay. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't have a wife. He's I feel been like alone he's kind his of whole life. I understand. But he's always wanted daughters, and he yes. goes, "You know, I can't just have it the normal way. I, I can, I can make myself." Some yeah, daughters but the way because... you said, "I get that," made it sound like you were doing some creepy shit, man. No, because I'm not smart. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. You just said, "Oh, I get it." When we were talking about a guy possibly creating little girls in his basement for nefarious purposes. And no, like, I'm saying no, I'm that. I'm it. saying that it's not nefarious. nefarious. It might be. Yeah. Um. I'm sure. It, I know it's not because you know, the professor. The professor's a, nice a wholesome guy. dude. Yeah. He seems. He's like a which, good dad. Which raises the question: Why? How? Like, how could he not find a partner? You know, in this day and age, he devoted well, his life to science. He did devote his He's life married to science. to science. That's true. He did have a girlfriend in one episode. Was uh, it him? No. No. It was their next. It was their teacher, I think, or maybe their next door neighbor. Either way, it turned out to be a supervillain. It's not their teacher then. It was uh, what's her name with the hair? Gonna give me a bit more. Here. <laughs> she she was like Medusa, but instead of it being snakes, they would her hair would just wriggle around, and she was evil. Oh, so it was the chick from um... Power Rangers? No, what was <laughs> What's ben that Ken. shitty that shitty Marvel show that didn't Inhumans? Sure. Yeah. It was the main chicken in humans has that power. <laughs> okay. I remember that. But that's different from him. Or is it her? Him. No. Him, him. him yeah, is the him, devil. Him that's, is, is the devil. Yeah. yeah. This is like... The devil. I who's think also your name in might Gar- be Medusa. It might By the be. way, might I just add, before we go any further, yeah. Powerpuff Girls, same universe as Gorillas. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like... What's his face from the... the Ace, Ace was... Well... As a... Bleh. At time of recording, Ace is no longer the bass player for Gorillaz. Oh, really? No, um, Murdoch got out of prison. Yay! Good for him! He... How can Murdoch get out of prison, but... He was Benny, only... Uh, Bobby with the tools can't. Bobby Shimura. Murdoch was only arrested because of a parking ticket. <laughs> and this whole time, uh, Gorillaz Law Dump, uh, with their most recent album, The Now Now, which was released, uh, the hype campaign involved a lot of Facebook Messenger ARGs. Yeah. Right. So it was like conversations with characters in universe. Yeah. And the main ones are being done with Murdoch. Yeah. So Murdoch was trying to stir up you to get like help him break out of prison. Uh-huh. And he was spinning this yarn about how I was arrested for all the crimes I've committed over the years and I've done me I've done drug crimes. And I've then done drug crimes. Pretty much. And he blamed some big gang leader named El Murder and he sent Noodle to the middle of the mountains to try to find him find uh-huh. him. But he got bored of waiting. Uh-huh. So he just kind of tried to break out of prison by going through the sewers and apparently drowned in shit. <laughs> but then, like, the next conversation, Noodle's like, yeah, I found the guy. Um, he's an old monk. He renounced his life of crime like 20 years ago. Uh-huh. So I don't know why Murdoch thinks that this is the guy who dealt the drug crimes with him. Uh-huh. And then Murdoch showed up on the back of an evil yak. <laughs> Like a Satan yeah. yak. So, and it was revealed, oh yeah, Murdoch was just under arrest in prison for a parking ticket and was due to be released the day that he supposedly <laughs> drowned in shit. That's actually very funny. And thus, <laughs> and he thus restored the entire status quo, making all of that for nothing. Which really annoyed me, because I'm like, oh... I didn't think it was for nothing. It was. Nothing we, changed. We, Everything's back to normal. We got a few um, music videos out of it. We got one. <laughs> okay, just the one. Oh, no, we got two. Humility as well. Yeah. But, like, nothing, like, they were like, oh, yeah, I'm back now. I'm bass player again. I'm leader of the band, and mm-hmm. Ace is gone. I was like, well, couldn't you just keep him around for shits and giggles so we've got <laughs> something else to look at other than you fucks? <laughs> so the villain's yeah. name, by the way, yeah. Sedusa. Sedusa. Uh, okay. right, kind there of, she is. This, She's got crazy hair. This, go, this uh, Sedusa, that sort of straggles the line of conversation, which is Powerpuff Girls having mature content yeah. in it. Uh, also, this is her when she was dating 
uh, Professor Utonium. Right. So she disguised herself like that. For those listening, she's those got listening, white hair. Google seducer. She looks like a white girl. Yeah, she's very white. An she's albino, got, if you will. Got white hair, wearing like pink. Uh, although in this picture, she's wearing red. <laughs> and, <laughs> and her eyes real, have changed color. She looks real grumpy. Yeah, her eyes have turned red as well, which is weird. Um. Okay. <laughs> so. It's been a stat like Gorilla when asked about Mur- about Ace, yeah. Murdoch and Noodle both said that he was an actor they knew from way back in the day, right? Who appeared in some show, right? So it's unclear. He also did, but the Gangrene Gang is real. Is real, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So like, it's unclear whether or not the Powerpuff Girls was a TV show in the universe of Gorillas that happened to have live action actors yeah. such as Ace, the Gangrene Gang. And the Powerpuff Girls themselves, yeah. or if the events of Powerpuff Girls happened. Yes. Since Ace is a member of the Gangrene Gang in their lore, yeah. but the Gangrene Gang's from the show. Yes. So I think it's both. <laughs> yes. It I seems, think from the story you told me about about uh, Murdoch and Noodle and finding that monk, uh, it seems like the people creating the gorilla's law are kind of meandering in a lot of directions and then figuring it out at the end. Yeah, Jamie and um, Jamie and Damon have a habit of doing that. Yeah, they introduce interesting plot elements. Like in this arc, they introduce two D might be depressed, might be it's not not depressed, maybe depressed, possessed, oh, possessed by a ghost or the devil, and then they just dropped it in completely. It was like I guess he was just playing up because he missed his friend. And I was like, oh. well, I mean. You could have ran with that. That could have been that could entertaining. Have been insane, but they couldn't think of anything to do with it. Yeah, okay. But, on the topic of Powerpuff Girls. Mm, back to the main topic. The main episode. topic. Seducer. The big eyed freaks. Seducer in a kids show. I mean, they never really go anywhere with it, but. And him. Him. Who, him. Yeah. If we can talk about him for a second. Him that was freaked little... me the fuck out when I was a kid. You transphobe. Like, no, no, just like... No, there's, it's not transphobic to be... Look how defensive af- you got. It's not transphobic to be afraid That's, of yeah. a lobster devil Isn't who that? speaks with two voices at the same time. For the record, I was having a joke. I, I wasn't will. actually... And you! I wasn't actually accusing either of you, but you both got really defensive, which makes me very concerned that you might actually be transphobic. Hey, listen, I am very... I, of course I'm you a are, PR man. practitioner, and I need to manage my brand. And I, you what know. fucking brand? Hey, I have a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that never uploads. Eat Mentos. Why don't you go review some Garfield? Oh wait, you won't. All right, I'm walking out of the door, and I'm gonna go review Garfield. Don't do it. He's gone. <laughs> So, Seducer. Yeah, Seducer. Now that he's out of the way. Pretty hot. What, Seducer? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty alright. Yeah. Miss Bellum, though. Which one's Miss Bellum? Miss Bellum. She's the one without a face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up. assistant. She's so tall that her head is always yeah, out yeah, of yeah. frame. And when she's it's also not, ex- you only... She's also apparently really intelligent. I quite like that character. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. You guys are not going to believe it. So I walked out of there, and I found a time traveler. Yeah. (laughs) And he took me into the future. Cool. And he told me that it was very imperative that uh, Tim and I record another episode. Because we went 100 years into the future, Uh and it hasn't happened. And so he thought, he showed me that. It was like the ghost of Christmas past and present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is He showed me that, and he said, Dom, you have to change your ways. But... I came back and I had the realisation that in my understanding of time travel, I can't do anything to change the future that has already happened. In my understanding. So, I just figure I'm just not going to do it. (laughs) I mean, I guess. Glad we went on that tangent for no reason. So, what did you guys talk about? (laughs) Uh, I just said Miss Bellum. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Is she the... Teacher? Their preschool teacher? No, no. no. Miss Bellum is the secretary. Oh, the secretary for, um... Mm, the mayor. The mayor. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, the mayor. <laughs> the mayor. The mayor. One of my favourite jokes, and I used to just... It must have pissed my parents off all the time, so I used to just run around the house screaming it, is when he goes on campaign, and his his slogan is, Vote for mayor for mayor! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good name. It's so good. 
Because <laughs> I guess that's his name. That joke. Mm. Uh, where where the where the character's name is literally their job title is mm. one of the funniest things in the world to me. I I'm not sure if you ever saw, saw the uh, the Cartoon Network show. I believe it was made by the same people who made. Yeah, it was. It was made by the same studio that made Powerpuff Girls. Uh, Sheep in the Big City. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in the intro to every episode, they they tell the joke. Um, this is Farmer John. Uh, a man whose parents were so sure he would become a farmer, they named him Farmer. <laughs> farmer John. Good old Farmer John. And and ma- the mayor carries on that lineage, although I think the Powerpuff Girls were before Sheep in the Big City. But I think it was around the same time. Yeah, uh, well, because Sheep in the Big City only ran for one season. Yeah. Or maybe it was two and it was like the highest rated show they had when it started and then it just like died off completely but mm. if you ever get the chance to go back and watch it that show is the funniest thing i remember watching a few episodes of it and being like this is fine i guess <laughs> yeah like i'm not sure if i would enjoy it now because i found it like just scrolling through youtube re-uploads um, yeah. when i was a kid and i just thought it was the funniest thing but yeah anyway uh Good show. I think, I believe actually the only way you can buy episodes of Sheep in the, the Big City now is to get the first season of the Powerpuff Girls and it comes with the first episode of Sheep in the Big City in the special features. Right. Well, Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so. With Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. I feel like there's so much to talk about. They've got so many characters. So they're fighting crime, right? Yeah. Trying to save the world. Uh-huh. Mm. But... All the crime is in Townsville. <laughs> Why are there monsters? Where is Townsville? Um, a lot of the monsters are freaks of science. Townsville is in Queensland. It's like north. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> the city I, of Townsville. I always, I always canonically thought that Powerpuff Girls was set in Australia, even though they all speak with American accents. Isn't yeah. there a town like? Because I know Townsville is all is a city, yeah. yeah. But isn't there in the Canada Powerpuff Girls a town called, called Citiesville? Citiesville. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I always liked that joke. That's a very good joke. But yeah, a lot of the villains are like creations of characters like Mojo Jojo. Right? Yeah, I, and I get that. Failed but... experiments from the professor. In the case of Mojo, Mojo Jojo. Jojo, yeah. But like, there are some just kaiju's in that show. Yeah, yeah. Like straight up monsters from the deep. Yeah. Why do they only turn up in Townsville? Why does Godzilla only attack Tokyo, dude? Just because he's close by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're close, they're close by. by. But like, they're not saving the world. They're just saving towns. That's that true. is the world. They're Have you ever seen? There's, <laughs> there's two towns <laughs> in that world. There's Townsville and there's Citiesville, and Citiesville's doing fine. Yeah, Citiesville's got a lower population. That's why they're called a town. There's only two towns. It's a post-apocalyptic world now. That's why Samurai Jack's there. Makes sense, yeah. He's lived so... Because he can't die. He's lived so long now. <laughs> uh, Wait, no, but Paris is in Powerpuff Girls. Then is Paris ever in, in danger? Yeah, once. Shut up, phone! <laughs> Um, in the spirit of Ben Folds, oh yeah, I say we just let it ring. <laughs> no, it's, it's not ringing. It's not. That was weird. I told Does that happen sh- a lot. <laughs> no, I told it to shut up and it shut up. Anyway, that, how how great would that have been if that was the Powerpuff Girls ring ringtone <laughs> when that went off? Like the beep, beep, beep. Anyway, <laughs> is Paris ever in peril? Oh, oh you sneaky bugger! <laughs> that phone man. <laughs> This is just an episode of, of interruptions and tangents. <laughs> if if anything, this means we can do it uh, next time uh, mm. as well. Because this no, part, no, no this is two. going out as is. Mm, this is a part going to be. There's going to be no editing. Raw episode. Um, wonderful. Okay, so is Paris, Paris ever in, is peril? in peril? And so is so is Egypt, I believe, and like a and bunch do the Powerpuff Girls save those places? Yeah, I see your answer to your own question. Because they're saving the world. I thought they became dogs. What? The The Powerpuff Powerpuff Girls? Girls. Because in that episode, Mojo Jojo, I think, 
he gets some kind of relic that turns everyone everyone to dogs because then he will be in charge of the entire world. It sounded like some monkey fist bullshit. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking Majin Buu turning everyone into candy. Yeah, but that was because he was hungry. (laughs) But he he figures if he turns everyone to dogs, they'll all be obedient and listen to him. Uh huh. And I believe the Powerpuff Girls take it from me. Turn into dogs. Mojo Jojo, if you're listening, take it from me, buddy. Dogs do not fucking (laughs) listen to you. Um, she's giving but me I can't. Look. I can't remember how they saved the world. They in just that do. One. Is that like the movie or something? No, no the that's movie's... just an episode. The movie is actually quite good. Yeah, it's like an origin movie, right? Like it's a like, proper like it's like is the, it the they, origin of Mojo Jojo? Both. Yeah. Like it's the Powerpuff Girls have just been created and they're just getting to grips with the world around them yeah. and their powers and at the same time Mojo Jojo has been created. Yes. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Um, In that film, they get they just nearly destroy the city of Townsville by playing tag because <laughs> right. they have superpowers, they have superpowers and yeah. they don't fl- they're unchecked. Which brings me to my point that I want to discuss. They're fucked. <laughs> sure. Right? Have you... You've seen the design. Yeah. They don't have fingers. Yes. They have big eyes. Uh Uh-huh. They have no noses. Yeah. There is an episode of... I think it's like the reboot they did on Cartoon Network recently, where they put on a glove. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And it just bends the, like, stump hand they have into fingers. That's wild. Like, they just put it on, and it's like, you know how in a cartoon... Where, like, a character puts on something that makes you thinner and it just, like, kind of hugs the body and makes, like... In that episode of Spongebob where he puts a stocking on his head and it makes a <laughs> it big leg. makes a leg. <laughs> so good. It's like that, but with a hand. <laughs> That's very funny. How do they pick things up? Because they pick things up a lot. I assume they're telekinetic. That's yeah, terrifying. That's that's, they have a bunch of superpowers. <laughs> yeah, what, what is the limit of their power? That's another good point I've got to they, ask. they've defeated... Satan. They beat Satan. They've got super... Okay, they've got super strength, laser eyes. They can fly. Fly, super speed. Um, they, do they have freeze breath? I feel like they've got yeah, freeze well, breath. Well, I think, I think one of them... I think Blossom has freeze breath. Because they, they there's an episode where uh, Blossom has a unique power. Bubbles has... Uh, yeah, Bubbles has a unique power. But Buttercup doesn't have... Oh, because Bubbles can talk to animals. Yeah. That's right. Can she? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Um... Uh, and they spend the whole episode making fun of Buttercup because she doesn't have a special power. And then she's like, gets super insecure. And then at the end of the episode, uh, she like to, to like, she's like, I'm sick of this. And she sticks her tongue out at them and she curls it. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, what did you just do? And she goes, what? I just stuck my tongue out at you. And then they, f- the thing is, is that her superpower is that she can curl her tongue and the others can't. That's the fucking worst. <laughs> But then, you know, it helps her self-esteem. She has something. Yeah, but, like, that's not going to help you. <laughs> you never know. Can you guys call your tongue? I can. No. <laughs> okay. Mini. So the time travel is back. Mini. Got a list of powers. Come here. Come here. So they've got super strength, speed, durability, stamina, flight, heat vision, the ability to breathe and survive in space. Energy cool. projection, uh, super si- uh, sight and hearing, night vision, tornado generation, <laughs> fire generation. Tornado generation comes from super speed. The tornado yeah. generation is my generation. <laughs> X-ray vision, Talk limited about tornado generation. <laughs> what was the last one? Limited in vulnerability, X-ray vision, immunity to extreme cold and heat, sound manipulation and control. Supersonic screams, supersonic waves, supersonic bursts, teleportation over short distances, super strength punch, inferno, <laughs> strength uh, punch. which is to spontaneously catch on fire, the ability to multiply themselves, uh, they can transform into water, <laughs> atomic snot rocket, um, shrinking, electric boogaloo force field, which is a force field that comes when they dance. <laughs> That's... Uh, they can do a card trick called Three Card Puffy. <laughs> Optometron. I don't know what that does, but it's something... Uh, <laughs> apparently they've got something called the Penny Pincher. 
uh, they're able to imitate the sounds of, um, like, animals. They can imitate the Matrix. <laughs> what? Like, you know, when Neo does the... Su- oh, but I'd yeah. say that's just part of super speed. Tongue curling and magic to bring themselves back to life or back together if they're apart. Okay, back so... To life. Also, they can enter each other's dreams. Hold up, hold up. Stop. The back to life thing, I think, is from... I remember watching this, like, special on Cartoon Network, like a musical special, Powerpuff Girls, in which they, like, there's a bunch of songs, and in that, they get killed by the musical villain, but are brought back purely by the fact that the professor does a nice little solo song where he's, like, boxing a thing of meat, (laughs) and he's trying to encourage them to get up and go back to fight, and they bring themselves back up. That's so I don't know if they can come back from the dead or just wake up from being unconscious. <laughs> well, in Pokemon, it was always the same thing to me. So, yeah. <laughs> personally, I think that they can beat Superman. Um, no, they got they which got Superman? Three of them. Golden Age or because uh... if it's Golden Age, that no, because he has all those powers and more... Superman can do anything. Which one was the one where it was fun? <laughs> Define none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Super Can't Batman. argue with that. Yeah. Batman Which one was Superman. it when Batman was fun? None of them. Oh, Batman was fun in the 60s. Yeah. But that was because Adam West was doing it. Yeah, what age was that? That would have been Silver Age. Silver Age, then. I still think he'd kill them. I don't think Because he's still got a lot of his Golden Age powers. Is he invulnerable? Like Yes. Yeah. Superman, so, the, rule, the general rule of thumb with Superman originally was... He can do anything he needs to unless he hasn't tried it yet. Right. If he's tried it, he can do it. Yeah. It's like cooking. Once he's tried, he's the best at it. He's <laughs> the best at everything there is, provided he's given it a go. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, if Superman's invulnerable, the Powerpuff Girls still take damage, so... Golden Age Superman could launch Superman. a smaller... Superman isn't invul... He can take damage to super strength. Yeah, but he just shrugs it off. Why doesn't he try magic? Because he's he's in, he's vulnerable to it, and he's I know. Pussy. Superman from the Golden Age could shoot a smaller copy of himself out of the palm of his hands with all the powers of Superman, which presumably includes that power, meaning he could infinitely clone himself with smaller versions of himself <laughs> out of the palm of his hand. So he'd just do that and drive the Powerpuff Girls insane. That's a real <laughs> dumb power. Yep, but it's a thing. <laughs> It's just so That's dumb. Crazy. Um, but if this was if this was Smash Rules, uh-huh. uh, I feel like the Powerpuff Girls would win via timeout because they could they could do they could rack up damage from a distance, all three of them at the same time, and then just like turn into water, go into space, like just fly away from him. And there's no way any of them will get more damage than they can do to Superman. Um, but if if we're talking about a long real fight, I think uh, on a balance of probabilities, Superman eventually wins. It's like a bunch yeah. of monkeys in a room with a typewriter. Eventually, Superman will beat the Powerpuff Girls. So that's the case with all of Superman scenarios, unless yeah. it's Batman. In which case, if you've given Batman enough prep time, he'll kill you. <laughs> if Batman, and I have, and I've been waiting. <laughs> if you give Batman any like prep time, like enough prep time, he'll win, it's regardless been... of the opponent. It's been 20 years and 6 months and Batman still hasn't killed me. I think I'm beginning to think I'm immortal. I mean, we are immortal until we die. Well, good point. I'm immortal until proven otherwise. That's it. Yeah, that's a good point. So, Powerpuff Girls <laughs> has some good villains. Yes, I was going to some amazing villains because I wanted to bring up my favorites. Do you guys have favorites? Um I mean the Gang Green Gang, I guess. Gang Green Gang. Like the Gang Green Gang are good. Yeah. Them um, or is it Fuzzy Lumpkin? Yeah, is, is it Fuzzy Lumpkin? Fuzzy Lumpkin, then who's that? Is he's that just this weird guy. He's this weird hillbilly with like a oh yes, yeah. Who's also a fuzzy monster? <laughs> That's yes, I do remember that. Um, my favorite are uh, the Amoeba Gang. The Amoeba Gang, classic. The single cellular mobsters who literally are the weakest people in the entire. Like they're weaker than humans. They literally can't <laughs> do anything. They can make people sick. Yeah, you know, they can carry disease. Yeah. Um, but, you know, 
That's why they didn't make a game about pestilence in the Darksiders series. Because did you hear about that? Because the Darksiders series is about all the horses of the horsemen of the apocalypse, yeah. and they changed pestilence and famine to like fury and outrage, which is just like two, two more wars. It's the it's same like, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not only is that both just two more wars, that they're also the same The exact thing. same. They are synonyms for one another. It's, it's because they didn't want to make video games about making people sick or starving people to death. Like, that would have been, cool. been great. That would, that would have been innovative. And cool, I would have yeah. loved a game where I get to walk around and, like, you got a little fucking bio meter, like, <laughs> like reverse fallout. Reverse fallout. Where you're wanna, making people radioactive and sick. I don't want to be fury and outrage. I want to be <laughs> pestilence and, and plague. Yeah. I want to be famine. Yeah. I want to be like... I want to be walking around just grabbing people's food out of their hands, chomping it down. <laughs> it's like a cooking game, except in reverse. That's, that's, that would actually be sick. It's like it's like Hitman or like Sly Cooper, but you go around stealing people's food. Mm. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, yeah the, Amoeba the Amoeba gang. gang. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. They just, like, slither around the place. And that's when, that's how I started saying to people when they would ask me in primary school, what's your favorite animal? I would say an amoeba. And they'd be like, what's that? I'm like, it's a single cellular life form that floats on the top of the ocean. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so. I like him. Fair him. enough. I think no, him is cool. Thing, because... I used to have, like, nightmares about him, but in retrospect, I'm like, that's sick that they were able to do that to me, you know? Yeah. I find it funny that, um, there's a band named him. Is it named after the Power No, it's Girls? not. No. But in my brain, it, it, it it'd be just well as be. valid if they were. <laughs> um, They're like Ben Marjo's favourite band or some shit. They're I... also God, like, the most teenage band ever. <laughs> Like, we write love songs that are really sad and also metal. And it's like, you guys are just cringe. More teenage than Panic at the Disco? Yes. Impressive. They're like all the um, teenage bands rolled into one big pile of cringe. <laughs> um, I like how none of us mentioned Mojo Jojo. No, that's because he sucks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> He's I got like a big Mojo brain Jojo. with a big tube head. Uh, um, do you guys remember... And. They appeared in one episode of the Powerpuff Girls, but they were actually from a different cartoon. And it's like a bit purple bear who's got like a brain in his in his chest or something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 evil, yeah. evil from Grim and Evil, right. which is the precursor to the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Yes, so I always loved that character's design, but I never knew what they were from. Um, so and Cartoon so- Network had this brief. It was very brief because they were like, well, there's clearly one section of this that's better than the other <laughs> called Grim and Evil. Yeah. The idea being there was it was a two segment show. Half the show would be devoted to the adventures of Gr- the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mary, right. but it was just called Grim. Right. And then the other half was about this evil supervillain, which is the guy you're talking about yeah. named Evil. And it was also it included a lot of the weird recurring characters that show up in Billy and Mandy. Mm-hmm. Like the weird sort of like demon hunters or whatever the fuck, like all the all the really weird ones. You're like, why? Where did this come from? They're from Grim Adventure, the Grim and Evil show. Mm-hmm. But after a few, like I don't even think a full season of Grim and Evil, they were like, well, we're just gonna make Billy and Mandy the main characters because <laughs> they're more entertaining. So they made the Grim Adventures yeah. of Billy and Mandy. And that was better. And oh, then they crossed over with show. Kids Next Door. Yeah. Um, Mandy totally cheated. What, in Mandy Next Door? <laughs> nah, in, no, in uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. In what sense? Yeah, she played a game with death to force him to be their slave. Right, that's right. Yeah. And Mandy's you... terrifying. <laughs> that's true. Um, do you guys have any particular episode of the Powerpuff Girls that sticks out in your memory? The dog one? Always kind of sticks Oh, out. the talking dog. No, the <laughs> one where everyone gets turned into dogs. Oh, right, right. That one. The the one with Sedusa where she's banging their dad. The really, 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 really sad one where they get an extra sister and then she explodes. Oh, that's right. Isn't that in the reboot? No. Oh, no, yeah. no that, that's a different the, extra the, sister. The purple one? Yeah. 
That's right. That is sad. That, Other than that, I... The one in the reboots, their older sister, there was an episode of the Powerpuff Girls where they made their own Powerpuff Girl because they wanted another sister. Yeah. So they they just got whatever they could find and tried to make one. And they end up with this kind of... Monstrosity seems like the w- wrong word. <laughs> yeah. hmm. But there's not quite the Powerpuff Girls. She's taller than all of them, and she's bigger than all of them. She's got a hunchback. Yeah. She's oh, bigger. yeah, I remember now. And then they're all, like, really mean to her, because they're like, well, she's not as good as us. And then she blows up to save the world. And then it was really sad, because she was a good person, and they didn't give her a chance until it was too late. Mm. Me to be the rowdy rough boys. The rowdy rough boys. Uh, yeah, I love those guys. I remember whenever they would show up, I would be like, they should be in the show more often. <laughs> the rowdy rough boys That's is so good. funny. That's so good. Um, my one episode that I think I watched like a million times was uh, the episode where there's a guy in there, like preschool, who eats glue. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And, um, and they, like, bully him all the time. And I don't even remember what happened after that, but I remember that used to make me, like, so emotional. Because you used to eat glue? <laughs> I didn't used to eat glue. But I just thought, I felt so bad for him. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just, like, I have such a vivid memory of seeing him sitting in the playground alone eating glue. You know, that was actually probably it. Fun, just dumb tangent. We should come up with a theme song for that. Um... <laughs> Dumb tangent. Uh, uh, when I went to uh, kindergarten, no, what's pr- daycare? I used to go to daycare, uh, and I would literally every day just get there with a box full of apple slices, sit on a table eating the apple slices, and not move until my dad came to pick me up. And like the teachers thought there was something wrong with me because I just didn't want to talk to anyone. I just wanted to sit there and eat my apple slices. Yeah. And uh, people thought like I, I was depressed, like I wasn't going to make any friends and stuff. And um, so one day we had a one of the t- teachers was like, no, like, Dom, I'm not letting you sit here. You have to go outside and play. And uh, and I like fought it like I was super mad. And then I went outside, uh, hit my knee on a trampoline started crying, and then went back to the seat, and they never made me go outside and play again. It was so good. Every single daycare. Anyway, but that's not a sad story, because I ended up getting what I wanted. Which was to not have to talk to anyone. The moral of the story is, do whatever it takes to get what you want. Yes. I I mean, I didn't fake the injury, but but it did work out in the end. Mm. Well... I think that's what the Powerpuff Girls is all about. <laughs> yeah, doing, what is, doing what you got to do to get what you want. That's right. Yeah, that actually sounds about right. And at the end of this episode, I just want to say I'm now terrified of the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, me too. Because when you are listing off those superpowers, that is an, that is a monster <laughs> <laughs> that you were describing. Well, no, no. I've been Blossom. I've been Buttercup. And I've been Bubbles. We've been the From a Hat boys. <laughs> yeah, From a Hat is the same many, is the exactly the same syllables as Palpa. So. <laughs> Thanks for listening. To contact Phoenix and Ben, email them at fromahatpodcast at gmail.com or go to our Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description.